Hello there. Today's video is on CSS property known as font family. So I got a page here with the paragraph and it's inside of a div and here's the HTML CSS. The div is not so important but the uh, the paragraph is. So we're going to do a P tag and open curly braces and uh, we're going to do font family. And this is how you can specify what kind of fonts you want your text in. Actually I'm going to do font size first. Uh, font size of um, double extra large and uh, let's take out that font family and see what happens here save refresh there yeah that's nice and large and you can tell that that's actually a uh, that's a serif because it's got the eye it's got the little feet on it uh, and the B he's got a little foot there on the left side uh, the T has feet on the bottom and little hanger offs so that means we're gonna start with sound, sound serif so uh, let's go to uh, font family and uh, well that's the one to look at as well because this is my preaching moment here where you uh, you can actually specify a font family of sans serif sans serif I guess that's the way us Americans would pronounce it probably wrong um, so there we go that got rid of all the little feet on the T's the little I doesn't have a feet on it anymore and you can specify whether you use a serif or a sans serif so serif means a uh, feet and um, sans serif means no feet. Uh, there's also the option to do a monospace font. Some people are really particular about this and it kind of bugs me. There we go, that looks like it's typed on a typewriter with a monospace font. Uh, but you can have a, a lot of control over this sort of thing. So you can say uh, multiple things. Let's say uh, Helvetica. Let's see if Helvetica works. I'm on a Linux operating system. Oh, I forgot my quotes. I don't know if the quotes are necessary when it's just one word. Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like you don't need the quotes when it's just one word. But the Helvetica looks like it worked. Uh, but there's one that I know will not work. So, uh, Trebuchet uh, MS, which is a Microsoft font. So, uh, let's capitalize Trebuchet and refresh. Yeah, see, that didn't work. Everything's got little feet on it. So that's a problem. Trebuchet MS is a Microsoft font. I'm on a Linux machine. This Linux machine has no idea how to do it. The same problem happens with Apple. Apple has fonts specific to their operating system. I'm sure Linux has fonts specific to their operating system. Uh, just because Apple and Mac won't pick them up, not because they're not available to uh, Linux, because generally stuff on there is free. So the idea is you actually put a, uh, a comma, and then you put uh, Helvetica, and then another comma, and then you, uh, well, let's see here, knew what Helvetica was, let's see if it takes off the little feet. Um, so let's put a comma, Helvetica, save it, refresh it, there we go. Uh, so if it can't interpret Trebuchet MS, which uh, Microsoft probably has a copyright on, then you just say, well, let's do Helvetica. And if Helvetica doesn't work, then we'll just do a sans serif. So, oh, forgot my dash, sans serif. There we go, refresh, and it just goes, eh. It goes down the line and finds one that works, or one that doesn't work. So then let's go down here and find another one. Uh, courier new, which I think is a Microsoft, but we'll see. Oh, look at there, it knows courier new. We can also do a comma courier, which is a, you know, just a generic one. Uh, and then you can just do monospace. Uh, so that's kind of the problem with these fonts is you never really know which one the browser is going to be able to interpret, which one they're going to pick up. So this is you trying to control the web page uh, to a great detail that you probably can't. So we've looked at all the uh, monospace ones. Let's look at some uh, some serif, which would be uh, like Times New Roman which is probably a Microsoft one again. I'm a Microsoft guy, I'm sorry folks. Um, comma, and then times, comma, serif. Save that, refresh, and uh, there we go. Everybody's got little feet on them. Uh, actually, if I take this guy off, and save it, and refresh it. If it changes, meh, I don't know, maybe it knows what Times New Roman is. Uh, not sure if I take the whole thing off, save, save, and refresh. 
Ah, it apparently knows what Times New Roman is. So there you go. There's the tag, font, family, and you should really look this up on the web to see because there's a whole website to dedicate it to safe fonts. But, uh, you know, serif, sans serif, monospace, those are the defaults. They're going to be available to everybody and every browser. Uh, so there you go. Font family property in CSS. Use this for power for good. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?